Hello and welcome to the Rookie Mazdas. We're at Orin Park South. And uh, we're doing another rookie race. Uh, I did Formula V already. And uh, went ahead and did a recording of that, even though I don't normally do it. I figured why not do some Rookie Mazda as well. I do it every week, but I normally don't record it anymore. But I figure, hey, might as well. We'll uh, go ahead and say it's in honor of rookie Austin Sendrick winning the Daytona 500. Rookie week. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. But, uh, it's just It's been a while since I've recorded these. and Like I also said in the uh, green, green, green. Formula B race, I should pay attention. I should really pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> um... Like I also said my Formula B race, so I got some more people watching now that maybe weren't around when I was doing those. So, uh, well, just maybe just for this week. Throw this out there. I don't know. I, I'm not focused right now when I should be. It's messing up my lap so bad. The wheel is creaking so much. I noticed this during my Arca race, too. Why it's so creaky? I think it might actually just be my desk falling apart because I'm yanking on the wheel all the time. But uh, we've actually got a pretty strong race here. This is why uh, I love to race these, even though it's the quote-unquote rookie. Like, you get some very not rookies in here, that's for sure. Um, I'm at about 2,900 road I rating at this point, I believe. Unless I'm misremembering. And I'm the number five, so we got fast people in here, and uh, that's usually the case. So it's not like you're getting any less competition out here in the rookie Mazdas. It's just uh, the free tracks and stuff, and uh, I like to run these every week because sometimes I don't have the tracks that they're running in the uh, higher series, and I can't just go buy in every track either because that would cost a million thousand dollars. So, I'll put my stinky laps down. We'll see where we get it here. I think this was better than the last lap. At least I got it in the 46s, but not very good. I kind of just underdrove it. And I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. I lost focus or something as soon as I hit record. I normally don't feel like it affects me too much recording. Because I'm kind of just babbling and it's secondary to the driving. But, uh... It's so precise, wanting to hit the exact line you want to hit and everything, and applying the right amount of brake pressure. That's, uh, I think it actually can affect me. <laughs> Not enough to where I'm too concerned about it, though. Alright. I'm not sure. I don't think it holds up the, the group if I'm running around here. Running laps. I don't think it is. Yeah, we're waiting on the six. So at least it wasn't us holding us up. Is the six running laps? Or is he just uh, having fun not pressing the button? It's here. Right? Okay, yeah. Please, sir, run a lap. Go on, then. Oh, well. As long as he doesn't do anything for the next 43 seconds, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and jump in the race anyway. Stinky lap got me fifth, it looks like. We're a nice two-tenths above six, though. That's not bad. I was thinking. Never mind, I wasn't thinking anymore. I was going to say, I wonder if I could adjust the brake bias in this thing, but no, you can't. Never mind. Oh, now you're doing laps or something, huh? Six. It's making us all wait. We, uh, we're one of the few that has a decent ping in this race. It would appear that we are on the US West server, despite all these drivers. 
most of these drivers being elsewhere. We got Australia, we got international, so they don't fit into any of the clubs. I wonder where they're from. Pacific Ocean or something, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we got Asia, Australia, Africa, South Africa, that's pretty cool. Canada, and Diach. The province of Diach. <laughs> that's like Denmark and all that stuff, right? I believe. I don't know. It's, uh, don't know if this guy's actually doing laps or just likes making us wait. But now I'm regretting jumping out of my car. Could have been running laps. Not sure how I'm going to approach this one. I mean, uh, I don't want to give up too many spots off the start like I always do. I don't want to get run over either like I always do. <laughs> I'm, I'm usually just... I'm not aggressive. I'm not a very aggressive driver, and so I always end up losing like four or five spots <laughs> at the start. Okay, maybe that's a little dramatic, but I lose a couple spots at the start all the time, and then I spend like three-fourths of the race getting those spots back, and then I finish fifth or whatever. Like, it, it kills me, because, you know, it's tough to make passes. You can be faster than someone, but passing them is a whole nother deal entirely. So I really like to not lose a bunch of spots off the start, if possible. I think something I need to work on is taking defensive lines. It always kind of irks me when people do it, because it's like, come on, man, I'm faster than you, but, I mean, that is defensive driving. In the racing sense, not in the you know, be aware of your surrounding sense. You know, it's a protecting your position. It's a part of road racing, and that's something maybe I should learn a little bit better. Instead of just uh, leaving the door open all the time like I do and letting guys dive in on me. I don't know. Maybe it's something I can think about. That's a good thing about rookies, too. Like, you know, maybe I wouldn't be considered a quote-unquote rookie anymore, even though I run these races. But I'm still a student of racing, and there's still things I want to try all the time, and every race I do, I learn something new, presumably, and I can try new things, and so, I'm going to race as much as I can, the air temp is so, 78 Fahrenheit. The track temp blah blah blah, is whatever I'm talking about, Fahrenheit. let's okay. go racing, get ready, go go green, go green, green. Okay, so, see like this guy, he's like taking the defensive line or whatever. About to get hit from behind. It's going right. crazy. Right. Clear. Oh boy. Turn one is always a bloodbath. Sure where this uh, guy was Where's going. Come on, guys. I mean, you get stuck between a rock and a hard place. You can't run over the guy in front of you, but the guy behind you is trying his best to run you over. So what are you going to do there? I don't think I lost too much, though. I know they crashed on the inside of me. At least a little bit. This is what I'm talking about. People just dive it in from behind you. And so now i got to pass this guy. Because of his hyper-aggressive start. That's going to take time. I don't like just diving it in, and it's not what I plan on doing. Like he did. I know the seven's faster than us behind us, so I'm probably going to let them go. Oh my god, they mowed the wall down. Pardon me, sir. You lost your fifth place privileges. <laughs> With that hit. The guy behind has just done a 46.64. Guy on the left. Ooh, I messed up. Clear. Sorry for the contact there. I drove it. Well, we can call that payback for him diving in on us. Let's start. I just overdrove it and I couldn't hold the inside line the way I wanted to. Not what I want to do. 
But, uh... It kind of worked out for us, not gonna lie. I wouldn't do it again. And I genuinely mean the apology. I don't want to pass that way. You're in B. Yellow flag. Car stopped on the right. Go left. Pits. I keep missing my breaking point because I don't know what I'm doing. Cold tires were kind of getting me too. I was throwing me off. It's an excuse, but it's kind of true. Car doesn't count as well. You are not cruising. All that stuff. So we're doing all right. We're in fifth. I think these guys all ahead of us are uh, faster. If the eight does end up reaching us because I make mistakes or something, I'm probably gonna let them by. Does feel bad? The car ahead is just on a 46. And then, uh, if I am capable of passing them again, I'll do it clean the next time. It didn't really hurt them all that bad, though, or anything. Just made our pass easier. Pretty sure that's probably how he would have gone about passing someone anyway, judging by the start he had. Of course, he could have just overdriven that, too, and I'm basing his whole driving style off of one corner, which isn't very fair. So let me not, no, let me not do that. I gotta be nicer. <laughs> I gotta learn to be nicer when I'm driving. The high intensity makes me grumpy. And makes me uh, be mean to people, and I don't want to be that person. It's that road rage, man. It's the red mist. Right corner again. Have it out of that. Too far there. It's very easy to hit that wall there, like the uh, like the guy by well, the guy that we uh, accidentally hit did. I was gonna say the guy behind, but he got passed. The guy behind has just done a forty-six point one seven. Why do I keep overdriving? Maybe I'm not... Maybe I need to take a wider entry. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong there. I'm like diamonding the corner. I don't want to be doing that. I want to make that corner smoother. I don't think we're faster than the two guys ahead, but they do seem to be uh, fighting for position. It's slowing them down a little. I could allow us to get up there and maybe become a part of it, but uh, if we get one-on-one -on -one with either of them, I don't know if I can keep up. I mean, I'm the five car. If I finish fifth, I'm very happy with that. Oh, that was better. Not perfect. I kind of messed up the uh, getting back on the throttle part, but uh, I was taking uh, the entry a little too shallow there. Alright, feeling good though. I do like this track. I don't know how others feel about it, but I do like it. I can't even really tell you why. It's just kind of fun to drive. Oh, that 7's coming again. I don't know what happened to them. They got... They were right behind us, and then they uh, disappeared again. I think the 8 and the 7 got together at one point, maybe. But uh, we might have trouble keeping our... Oh! Yep, let me overdrive yet again. Uh, we might have trouble keeping our top five then. So they are faster. Easily. They were a good two tenths faster than us in practice, so. If they get close, then I won't fight that hard and slow us both down. Because if I'm going to get past no matter what, the best thing I can do is let them get past quickly so that way they can go and maybe fight with the guys ahead a little bit more. Speaking of fighting, I got some blocking going up ahead, maybe? Left side. Keep to the right. 
clear. They looked like they were going to dive it in. And I don't know if they were just joshing <laughs> or if they were really going to do it. But I'm just like, all right, well, fine. If you're going to pretend, then go ahead and do it for real. You better be ready to do it for real then. Because I'm not fighting it. Because Bessie Thunder Sturvens is much faster than I am. What a name. You know that they, like, they must actually... I mean, I could be wrong. They must actually have the middle name Thunder or something, and they're like, well, I gotta include that in my iRacing name. Like, you don't get a name Thunder. Why would you come out on track in front of... Why would you not wait for the cars to go by? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, you don't have a name like... Middle name like Thunder and not put it on everything. Put it on your checks. Put it on <laughs> everything. Or they just... I don't know. Maybe they want to have Thunder in their name. I don't know. That either. Me, I should put, like, something exciting in my name, like Colton Explosion Tyndall or something. Colton Lightning Tyndall. There we go. It's along the same lines. Can I hit this corner once this race, maybe? Colton missed the corner, Tyndall. At least that one's accurate. Oh, it's number eight crashed. We're up and fast. What lap is it? Oh, we're coming down to the end here. I mean, you can see how that 7 broke off. I do not regret letting them by easily. They're clearly faster. And, uh... Holding them up and driving defensively is just going to slow us both down. Risk getting hit from behind or into a collision. And, uh... No need for it. Come on by. Kind of falling apart. I might be being a little bit dramatic, but <laughs> I feel like I'm missing my marks a lot. I don't know. I mean, I'm a, I'm at zero X. I haven't even gotten an off track, so I must not be missing my marks that bad. But oh, there is like a the right. He's not holding his brakes. Looks like he was gonna roll across into my lane. All right, top five. <laughs> Let's we'll see. We're fine. We can get the top five even letting people by. Uh, I almost took that corner right this time. That's my next goal. Just take that corner right one time this whole race. I have one more shot at it. So. be interesting if Mr. or Mrs. Thunder decide to go after and maybe make a dive on the guy ahead because the guy ahead... Presumably wrecked the other one. You just got the Seems land. like a good excuse to, uh, to go. go full body attack mode. Because if they're willing to do it to others, then I'm gonna go ahead and do it to you, is what they say. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 3.1 seconds. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. I did it! Maybe, kind of. It was kind of slow, but. I didn't diamond it. <laughs> you know what? I'm counting that. You can't stop me. I count that as a win. Will they crash each other in the final corner? That's a weird way to do it. <laughs> they looked like they took a super wide entry. Like they were gonna get the run off on them, but that's not gonna work. There's no way. You got I don't have enough straightaway for that. Maybe they didn't go on purpose. Five. All right, finish where we were supposed to. Apparently. So. Good job. Very good job. All right, we'll go ahead and climb out. And we'll uh, watch the incidents and all that and whatnot.
Oops. All right, that's fun. Sorry, man. So here's the start. Okay, that guy just runs into the back of him. I, we gotta go ahead and see everything that happened here. So. We got this guy going a million miles an hour, diving it in, taking out that guy, almost coming up and hitting me. Yeah. Kinda don't feel too bad about getting into him if he's gonna drive like that. And again, I didn't really even do anything to him. I doored him a tiny bit. It didn't even register as an incident. But, you know, I don't like doing that. I don't want to pass that way. But, uh, not going to feel too bad about a guy that takes out all these people and drives on all on his merry way. Plus, he, went, he preceded it by doing that, too. So it was a mistake that got us alongside him. And not a dive bomb. You know, let's see how bad this was. I also kind of like had to drive in a little hard because the guy was right behind me. Yeah, that's nothing. And then look, he just turns down and hits that person. He or she, I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know if that's a gender neutral or otherwise name. Hey, Win. I've never heard that name before, so I don't know who it is. So. Hey, Win. We'll just say Hey, Win. Turns down on him. And then, uh, I'm wondering what happened. I guess what happened to the Seven, all, all that happened was they got stuck behind him. I know they were super fast, but that kind of just illustrates, like, how much it matters to not get stuck behind people. So they got stuck behind him for a while, I think. Prediction code touch. Blink out. Oh, so we're in a mirror kind of flew up. Another pretend touch. This guy's really fast. I've been in a couple races with him. He's always fighting for the win, if not winning by a mile. Another fake touch. Well, that was intentional. This guy was annoying me in the little pre the warm up session, too. Like, I wanted to get out on track for a second and just uh, get the feel of the cold tires for a second. And he was, like, weaving on the access road. So this is just straight-up payback. He must have been taken out earlier by this guy. Oh, yeah. It, it was hey win. So they just drive up and take him out. So now I have to waste my time protesting someone, so that's fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty blatant. So that's what happened to Hey Win from South Africa. International Bora took him out. I don't know why I'm prefacing their names with where they're from. It's just <laughs> I just love racing people from around the world. It's so cool to me. Oh my gosh, more trouble. It's a dive bomb and a half. What was that? Maybe just Annoyed and impatient after being taken out, and then they just... <laughs> There's a lot of questionable moves in this race so far. Even the victims are coming back and becoming the aggressors later. Oh my god. What are we doing, guys? What was that? Look how far back they are. This guy's already taken people out, too. Like, that's prediction code, but he was going to hit him anyway. He was all absolutely going to come up and take him out. And there's no reason for someone to be doing that anyway. Oh, boy. And these are guys that are higher ranking than me, so that's just how they go about getting their I rating, I guess. Or maybe they don't know how to be behind people. A lot of these guys are usually just dominating from the start of the race, so they don't know how to pass. I don't know. Number uh, one, trying to get the most out of them there. And then we got more retaliation at the end. That was 
an okay way of doing it, though. That probably wasn't even an incident, and that shows your displeasure. Like, you're gonna retaliate, quote unquote. That's not so bad, I guess. And that's that, so. Some wild stuff out there. Glad we didn't get caught up on any of that stuff. Somehow I'm feeling like uh, <laughs> my slight dooring wasn't so bad after all. Anyway, we got ourselves our top five. Moved up one spot. Had ourselves a 0x race. In fact, we were the only one. So we are the safety winners. Wow. <laughs> That's probably the lamest thing I've ever said. Oh boy, guys, we're the safety winners. Don't forget to put on your helmet. Alright. <laughs> Let me leave. <laughs> I'm done here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, rookie. Rookie week. Wow. Yay. I guess. This is also probably the last rookie race I'm doing. <laughs> so made up rookie week is over. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.